Hello, how y'all doing? This is uh, King Lux the Rich. I'm a member of the Wilder 60s. And uh, while I was down, facing 200 years this last year, you know, I was spiritual before. But me and God grew a lot closer. To understand who God is, you must understand where we come from. You know, regardless of religion, you know, some are Christian, Jews, Muslims. We all come from the same thing. There's only one God that looks down on all of us. The spirit is in your culture and what you stand for. So with that being said, I wrote this, and this is what I came up with. Some of y'all might agree with me, some of you might not. But it's real, and it's from the heart. Forgotten faces. Some of you might know who I am. Some of you may not. My name is Glenn Lamar Gates, a.k.a. King Lokes the Rich, and I'm coming to you because I want to be remembered, never forgotten. I once was a man-child because I don't like to refer to myself as a boy. I feel like that's a word that degrades us from the time we came here. And when I say we, I mean ancestors. We have 400 years of history, of rebellion, of triumph, of struggle, of provocation, of injustice, of pride, most important, survival. See, I, like Martin Luther King, had a dream, but in the same breath like Malcolm X, I had a nightmare. I could not separate the two because it has become one. Just like the times of today, it's no longer just about race. It's about the haves and have-nots, which come in all colors of people. I just happen to be a black man, so I could tell you a young black man's views of the world because I've seen and experienced the harsh views of society. I've been to school and felt like I never belonged. The textbooks were out of date and never reflected the insights that we conquered growing up. Well, now to my friends that I lost along the way who were trying to find themselves in the pain, the hate, the gangs. This is for you. I say this for you. It's time for a change. To my fellow gang members out here, we can no longer just live to die. We must live to enjoy the fruits of life. I understand the identity of being a target from the laws to the people in our community, to each other. I stand here before you, let you know you are somebody and I love you because we are the reflection of our heritage of the forgotten tribes. We must now take on new responsibilities that have been passed down to us. Most of us products of the 80s and 90s, meaning we're children of the crack era. That means you were born a statistic and my job is to help you defeat it. So with that being said, know that us as one have a purpose, a purpose to help our elders, to protect our community. Even if we agree to disagree, it's time for a change. And before anyone can say anything, I just want you to think of the children, the brothers and sisters, nieces and nephews, cousins, friends. Do you want them to suffer with years of confinement, with death? Or do you want to be the one to break Cain's curse? See, a wise man once told me, son, don't preach death. Instead, give life. I never understood that till now. I give life. To the communities across the nation, it's time for the black Trojan horse to awaken. It can no longer be about the credentials one has accomplished because we as a whole are suffering. Innocent people are dying and being painted as monsters. Is Emmett Till any different from Michael Brown or Oscar Grant or Trayvon Martin? Is the 1960s revolution not remembered? Is our political prisoners forgotten? Is the brothers and sisters who died for equality forgotten? Because I remember George Jackson. I remember our apprentice Bunchy Carter. I remember Fred Hampton. I remember Nat Turner. I remember that none of these names in a, are in a history book. Usually the villain is the unsung hero. There's 400 years of history that is undisclosed as if it never existed. But I'm here to remind you that the spirit lives within. Listen to the drum. It beats the beat of our ancestors. And it said, wake up. It's time to build. It's time to unite. It's time to bring unity to each other, to be peaceful to one another so we can plant the seed and watch it grow. 
We must, we must take control of our communities. Build our businesses in our communities. In the words of Tupac, 50 niggas. We need to build our own branch to the tree of America because our voice can no longer go unheard. Especially since we are all Americans and are adequate to the Constitution. It's time, my brothers and sisters. God has given me a vision of not a perfect way of living, but a way of life that will make sense to any that has ever struggled. Money must be shared to help build our communities. It's needed for the survival of the have-nots. We must help each other prosper. That saying it takes a village to raise a child also probably meant it takes a village to build a community. Hungry is what we are every day, whether it's physically, spiritually, or mentally. Knowledge is the way. We can no longer be scared of spiritual and physical hunger. These two things bring wisdom and understanding to things we wouldn't normally comprehend without passing by as judgment. With that being said, my young and old brothers and sisters, it's time for us to teach each other and reach each other in ways we never did before or tried before. The movement is what we will build if we will work together. And it starts with us today in order for us to affect tomorrow. 50 niggas represents the movement because there's 50 states. We'll need representatives to represent each state. We must build every hood up before they tear everything down. And we have nothing left. This is not a matter of race or gender. This is the movement for the people. Money hungry movement. In conclusion, I hope you don't see this as just revolution or evolution or even a prophecy. I'm no saint. I'm not someone who is ashamed to say I've done wrong. I'm just someone who's tired of seeing us being weak and scared to call it how most of us around the country see. So even if you don't believe in what I'm about to say, just know they will pay what they owe. There's a vision that's been put on my mind, a spirit on my soul. And I know God that gave his son to die for us. So I symbolize what my Savior told me to tell you. And that is they will pay what they owe. But before we can reap the benefits, we must play our part first and foremost. Do what it is what we need to do. And that is unite the lost tribes. Bring peace to our communities. And know that there is only one God that will judge us for what we do. We must take responsibility for the future. Black is beautiful. Life is beautiful. But it takes hope. It takes discipline. It takes encouragement and courage. And most important, it takes knowledge. Knowledge is the way. And to receive knowledge, we must be open-minded. We must know our history so we can cipher when we're being polluted with things that we can't obtain through the people. We as the people have the majority vote, majority rule. And with that being said, that is why we must come together and become one. We must learn how to love ourselves so we can love each other. As men, we must be strong. And as for the women, we must learn the true essence of beauty. With that combined, nature will take its course. And you will see and understand what so many have fought and died for. Let's build a black Wall Street. Let's build the first united empire for the people since they made the Constitution. This is the land of the free. And it's time to exercise these rights. We have to learn about credit so we can control our communities. We need to learn about equity so we can build our communities. We have to get involved so we can hold on to our heritage. We can no longer remain ignorant to the fact of us being disenfranchised. They kill us like dogs in the street because they see us killing each other. If we stand for each other, protect each other, die for each other so we can live for each other, we will see that they will not use the same tactics to destroy us. Right now, it's too easy for them to have for them ugh, excuse me. Right now it's too easy for them to use an excuse. Let's make it hard for them to have a theory. We must learn learn a trade so we can help each other maintain a community. So the jobs that we need done are right here amongst each other. It's time to build. With all this said, I come to the most important thing. We must come together and institute the Lost Tribe Bill that will exercise what America owes us as a people that not only worked and died for slavery, the freedom for it, the oppression because of it. We have been a nation divided since the time we were brought here, and our history of civilization have been destroyed, along with our native tongue. 
for that alone is the reason why they don't understand the culture which is displayed. Why they don't care to know our pain. Haven't we had we why haven't we had any retributions like our Indian brothers? I can no longer go to my mother mother's land with no identity of the father. This is the land we helped build from scratch. But yet we go in circles every generation with nothing to show. It's time to wake up. It's time to speak up. It's time we come together for a purpose that is only the humane thing to do, which is officially become American. We have fought in every war known to mankind, have given everything we had to give, but yet all we have ever gotten was disparity in return. They target our children with calling us gangs, but yet force us to turn on our loved ones as they use war tactics against us as the people. This bill will protect us and also give us not only the same things as the Indians if your ancestors can be traced back to slavery. It is only fair that freedom is with justification. So is this not justifiable? Is it wrong to believe that we deserve a right that will protect our future as they do their own? It needs to be written in our Bill of Rights and us as the people hold the majority vote which we must display in full force. If they want us to die and continue to fight for this country, because we will continue to live in this country, I believe this bill must be passed with certainty that we are given the same opportunity for freedom that my past brothers and sisters, fathers and mothers, grandfathers and grandmothers fought for and died for. And that is which we shall build on. This is God's will. So listen, or face the wrath that will be displayed on our country. <clears throat> In the words of George Jackson, consciousness is the opposite of indifference, of blindness, blankness. Promoting consciousness involves the general dissemination of the concept that each of us is part of a universal action and interaction, that poles are somewhere connected, that there are materials Causes for trauma, vertigo, degenerative disease, connections, cause and effect, clarity on the relations and interrelations, the connection with the past continuity, flow, movement, the awareness that nothing remains the same for long. And it follows that if a thing is not building, it is certainly decaying, that life is, that life is revolution, and that the world will die if we do... The world will die if we don't read and act out on its imperatives. Not on its own will it die, but rather because the forces of reaction have created an emptiness that will kill it. The seeds of our own destruction. This was eloquently wrote before his death. So let this be a lesson because unity and change needs to be amongst us. Thank you for, the, thank you for your time. Power to the people. Who see the nightmare but believe in the dream. Now, like I said, I wrote this while I was in jail fighting for my own life. And I was fighting because of black on black crime. And me understanding more makes me, holds me to a higher account of responsibility. So if I didn't share this with y'all, I know I will be judged accordingly for this. So, I'm playing my position. Help me help y'all. Help us help y'all. But it's going to take all of us working together. And if we're all not willing to work together, and I ain't saying get along or put your differences aside. I'm no fair kind. I'm no activist. I'm just a person telling you the truth. If we can't do that to help your homies out, help your brothers out, your sisters out, your cousins, whoever you want helped out, then watch us decay and watch us fall and keep it quiet about cops killing niggas and your homeboys getting a million years. Because none of that matters if you ain't willing to extract change. Thank you.